We'll go to New York Times in the middle there. Like New York Times, uh, Mr. Stoltenberg, you and other Western leaders keep saying that Ukraine is fighting for our values, it's defending our democracies, it's defending our borders. Hasn't Ukraine earned NATO membership? Hasn't it earned now more than vague promises of membership sometime over the horizon? Thank you. The most immediate and urgent task is to ensure that Ukraine prevail as a sovereign, independent, democratic nation in Europe. And to do so, we need to uh, mobilize uh, as much as we can when it comes to military, economic, financial, humanitarian support to Ukraine. And that's exactly what we do. If Ukraine uh, does not uh, prevail as an independent sovereign uh, state, then of course the membership issue is not at the table at all. Uh, because then we have uh, no uh, candidate member anymore in uh, Ukraine. So uh, uh, whatever you think about uh, uh, when uh, Ukraine can become a member, uh, a precondition for uh, that uh, issue to be at the table at all is that Ukraine prevails. And we are helping Ukraine to do so as we speak. Uh, allies uh, made it c clear uh, throughout the meeting that they are ready to sustain uh, the support with advanced military uh, equipment, with ammunition, with uh, fuel, with all the other stuff that the Ukrainians need uh, to defend themselves. And, uh, and, and that's the urgent, that's the immediate, uh, uh, most important task uh, for uh, allies. Then we also have to understand that there is a lot between uh, nothing and full membership. Uh, meaning that uh, we need to develop closer and closer partnership, both political partnership, but also practical partnership with Ukraine. Uh, this will strengthen their institutions. It will help them to move from Soviet era uh, uh, equipment standards to modern NATO standards, equipment uh, doctrines. This is uh, good for Ukraine. It's good for us. It will increase interoperability, but it will also help Ukraine move closer to membership. So I think it's important now, now that we take it step by step. The most important and urgent step is to ensure that uh, Ukraine prevails, and that's exactly what we are doing. <clears throat> we'll go to um, the um, radio and television of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Secretary General. Maden Gino, Television of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, NATO support of territorial integrity and sovereignty of Bosnia and Herzegovina is undisputable. However, as you said, uh, uh, the country is under Russian pressure. Uh, can you tell me what did you mean by that term, Russian pressure? Uh, and it is known that there are in country uh, political forces who are uh, pro-Russian oriented and are against uh, membership, uh, membership of uh, NATO uh, of Bosnia and Herzegovina. How to reduce that Russian pressure? Thank you. Well, first of all, Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, is important uh, for stability in the whole of the Western Balkan regions, and it's also important for NATO. NATO has a history in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We helped to end a brutal ethnic war there uh, in the 1990s, and uh, NATO is still present in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. We have the headquarters in, uh, in, uh, in Sarajevo, and we work with Bosnia and Herzegovina. I just met with the foreign uh, minister, and uh, I think uh, to be able to uh, uh, resist uh, attempts of uh, Russian uh, interference uh, and influence uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, one of the most important things that should be done is uh, uh, the uh, uh, formation, the, to complete the formation of a, of a government after the uh, elections. Uh, and also to realize that uh, uh, everything that can uh, strengthen the institutions, the government institutions of Bosnia and Herzegovina, will also make uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina more uh, resilient, uh, uh, resilient against any type of uh, uh, foreign uh, in influence on malign uh, activities. Uh, NATO is committed to uh, uh, further uh, support uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, including through our defense capacity building. Uh, uh, program and uh, the NATO uh, HQ or headquarters in Sarajevo uh, and um, to help uh, build um, 
uh, uh, strong defense uh, and security institutions, including by helping to implement democratic uh, reforms. Okay, we'll go to uh, Imedi TV, Georgia. Lady at the back, yeah. Uh, after Bosnia Herzegovina, Georgia, uh, we are uh, in the same group, aspirant countries. Mr. Secretary General, how the commitments made uh, again in Bucharest and new decisions uh, help Georgia on the road uh, to future membership? As this is the main goal of Georgian people and Georgian government. Uh, and also, can you tell us more about the meeting with the Georgian Foreign Affairs Minister and the challenges ahead of us because of the war in Ukraine and ongoing occupation of Georgia by Russia? Thank you so much. <clears throat> the Foreign Minister of Georgia uh, was very much welcomed by NATO allies together with the Foreign Minister of um, uh, Moldova and Bosnia Herzegovina in our last session where we expressed our solidarity with all three partners. Uh, I think is, if there's one lesson learned from Ukraine, is that uh, we need to support them now. Uh, the more support we are able to provide to uh, these countries, being different, but under uh, uh, Russian uh, pressure influence in different uh, ways, uh, 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 it is much better to support them now than, uh, uh, than when we have seen uh, um, developments in going in the absolutely wrong direction as we saw with the invasion of uh, Ukraine uh, uh, earlier this year. So that's one of the reasons why, for instance, in Georgia we have uh, the training and evaluation center with dozens of NATO trainers, uh, allies, made, allied made, um, allies made new uh, 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 commitments, uh, announcements for further uh, support. Uh, because we need to build a long-standing partnership uh, with uh, Georgia, uh, and we use the office, we use the, uh, the training center to do exactly uh, that. All allies also expressed uh, their uh, uh, strong support for Georgia's uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity. At the same time, uh, allies also underlined the importance of implementing democratic reforms in uh, Georgia, and. Um, and uh, uh, working together uh, with Georgia uh, to implement the enhanced um, package of support that we have uh, agreed. Thank you very much, colleagues. This is all we have time for today. Uh, and uh, we will see you at the next ministerial. Thank you. Thank you.